game day here in Winnipeg where the Stampeders are coming off their first bye week of the season and are getting set to play the first of two straight games on the road. Calgary is hoping to find some magic against Winnipeg that they haven't found in quite a while and a new face in the lineup might help them do that. Let's dive into the matchup. Winnipeg has been a tough team to beat for Calgary in recent years. The Bombers won all three games against the Stamps last season. Winnipeg is tied at the top of the West Division with a record of 3-1. and one. Their one loss came against the BC Lions. Calgary is coming off a close game with the Riders. Their second half comeback fell just short and they lost by a field goal in overtime to their Western rivals. The team is eager to put that one behind them and get back in the win column. I would also argue that's that's kind of every week too, right? Like you never want to fall behind. So, um, yeah, I mean they're, uh, you know, they play in an environment that can create a lot of momentum for them. Um, and you know, once they get rolling, uh, you know, that that continues to grow and grow, and, and you can feel the confidence on the other side when things are going well for them. So, yeah, I mean we want to come out better, uh, myself included. I just I got to play better in the first half and um, start the game off better. So that's been an emphasis for sure. Moving on to the starting quarterbacks, Jake Mayer scored a rushing touchdown against Saskatchewan and hooked up with Malik Henry for a 52-yard score. The pivot and his receiving core got better as the game wore on, and they're hoping to keep that rolling tonight. For the home team, Zach Kalaros is in his fifth season now with the Bombers. He threw for two touchdowns against the Alouettes and has thrown for seven TDs in four games this season. The quarterback is surely aware that he will have to keep his eye out for Cam Judge tonight. The Calgary linebacker already has two picks for the Stampeders this season. In 20 regular season games with Calgary, the linebacker has racked up four interceptions in total. Prior to that, the defender had two in 47 games with Saskatchewan and Toronto. It's not a stat the linebacker was necessarily focused on building, but he'll take it. Uh, I have uh, give some credit to Monson, you know, he put, puts me in some situations that I can excel at, so, you know, he kind of uses me my strength, so, yeah, he puts me in a position to be able to make those plays. Right play, at the right place at the right time. Uh, tell me about Micah Awe, he's a new sort of linebacker that you've been working with. How's that been going for you guys this year? Uh, it's been going pretty well so far, uh, you know, he comes ready to work every day, ready to learn, and, uh, you know, obviously I was here last year, so, you know, he'll, he has no problem asking me questions when he has them, so. It's pretty admirable, admirable, admirable trait of his. Uh, you know, he's not afraid to not know something because he'll go find the answer. Against Winnipeg, I mean, Calgary's had a tough time beating them lately. What would it mean to you guys, especially considering some of the advers adversity and the injuries that you've gone through? What would it mean to get a win on Friday night? Uh, definitely be big. You know, for our confidence and everything. I mean, obviously we believe in ourselves still, but you know, it'd be nice to see. It, uh, turn into something like a win. So you know, it'd, it'd be a big win for us. Tell me about the outfit. Uh, you know, it's uh, Stampede's here, you know, so we had to bring it out here to Winnipeg a little bit since we're out of town, so. <laughs> we need a full length, it looks great. Love the shirt. Following the news that Malik Henry ruptured his Achilles against Saskatchewan, the Stamps went out and got some reinforcements. Mark and Michelle signed with the team earlier this week and will be in the lineup. The speedy receiver won a great cup with Calgary in 2018. He spent the last four years in the NFL. Other good news for the receiving core is the return of Reggie Bagleton, who missed one game with a rib injury. The O-line also looks different from last game. Bryce Bell will start at left tackle, while Hugh Thornton takes the spot of Caleb Beninock, who's on the one-game injured list. Complete lineup, you can take a look at the depth chart on our website. Kickoff at IG Field is 6.30 p.m. Mountain Time.